I'm back. I am back. Um, I'm sure you guys have uh, abandonment issues from me coming and going for so often, but I'm doing my best to not do that anymore. And I think I got my mental health and everything under control as best as I possibly can. Um, I'm definitely feeling back to more of myself. And look out because, I mean, that's some personality right there. Are you guys ready to handle that? Uh, yeah, we're surviving. Matthew is finally at his uh, final destination, which is Thompson, Illinois. Now it was a pen, now it's a low. They still act like it and treat it like a pen, but that's a, like a whole other story of cuts and all that stuff happening. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking how to send him uh, commissary. I will do my best to screen record and put that in here and do maybe like a, um, what's it called? Uh, a voiceover to show you kind of how. Um, you could send it, but I don't know. I feel like someone, the government would try to take your money then. So I'd rather just do it electronic so I know it gets to him. Um, but for writing him, if you guys would like to send him a letter, um, this is how you write it out. Matthew Hoover, here's his inmate number, 8363509 at FCI Thompson, PO Box 1002, Thompson, Illinois, and zip code 61285. I'm sure he would love to hear from you guys and still know that you guys are thinking about him and he writes you guys letters back and stuff like that because there's already some people that have already been writing him or doing like an email and I can show you how to email him too because he loves getting emails so maybe I'll do that in this video or new video or if you guys if I get a lot of comments saying that you guys want me to show you how to do that I can do that too because that's all through like electronic too obviously it's email my gosh, a little dumb right here. Our girls, um, hmm. My daughter did have like a big episode not too long ago of like how she just was crying, nothing would calm her down. She kept saying, I want to see daddy right now, I want daddy right now, I want daddy right now. And I just comforted her and held her. And it, it's just heartbreaking to see your kids go through any type of pain, whatever it is. Just makes you want to go after that person that's just, that hurt your kids. You know what I mean? Um, and so the only thing that would calm her down, I was like, do you want to lay on daddy's spot on his pillow on the bed? She said, yes, that still didn't calm her down. So, um, I eventually gave her one of her, his sweatshirts and then she calmed down and fell asleep. And our youngest, she's so young. Um, I think she's a little angry, but she obviously still loves dad very much. She always says she loves dad, but I think she's just so confused. You know what I mean? So I do my best to kind of help her through that. As far as me making videos, um, I am going to be getting back on the grind. I need to. No more of this pity me, feel sorry, and just down. Like, we need to stand up. We need to show that we can still get through this. You know, I want to be, like, um, a role model for other people that are going through this, that no matter how hard it is, and it's so hard, that you can fight through your emotions and, and you, your thoughts and your mental health and that you can still move forward and still be there for your loved one and and I mean just survive so yeah I am getting back into making videos I'm gonna try my best to do three a week which is crazy right um, but I already have another video shot so even though if you're like oh she's just gonna put up this one and then like abandon us for a whole month or whatever no I've got some recorded so, and I'm feeling a lot better, and I am that bitch again. I am that sassy, cocky, loving, caring, funny woman. That's me. So, hopefully you guys get to know the real me. Hopefully you guys don't get scared. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, the videos are going to be changing into a little direction, but that's because I'm Erica Hoover, not Matthew Hoover. We're still going to talk a lot of shit about the government and the ATF because... Well, fuck them. Also, I'm still in the process of doing visitation. I still have not had a visitation visit yet. That's because where I sent the first visitation forms, apparently they gave us the wrong address. Mm. And it's not just me, it's other inmates too. Hopefully, this time it'll be right. And so when I do go visit, visit him, I will be vlogging um, 
like my experience and on the way there and on the way back and after and stuff and it might be a little emotional but it's real and for appeals like I keep saying everyone wants to know appeals 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 they filed it it's in motion it's just a waiting process it takes time anytime I hear something new I will definitely tell you guys um I know that Matthew still has um Matt Larsrie Lars I cannot pronounce his name last name for the life of me but you guys know who I'm talking about. And then Justin got um, appointed uh, like a, a public defender appellate attorney. And she seems really uh, like she wants to fight. And she said out of all of her years doing this that she has never seen anything like this where two people have stood together and stand up and fight this. So yeah, she seems good. Yeah, this video might be a little longer, might be a little shorter. It's probably gonna be cutty because like I said, I'm out of practice, but I will get back into it. And I thank you guys all so much for all the love and support. You, like, you guys are so loyal. And, and you just, like, the, the, what you've all done for my family, I can't put into words of how much that means to us. And, and I wish that I could thank you guys each individually in person and stuff like that. But I can't, so, um... Yeah, thank you. And if you guys would like to continue to support me and my family, um, shop at OnlyTacticalFans.com, Shopify, where you can get yourself some badass merch. I'm still continuing to work with other companies to see what other merch I can put out because I have some good ideas and stuff like that. Maybe some Poppy merch coming out because a lot of you love my cat Poppy. Um, there'll be links in the description of the Still a GoFundMe if you want to help. Um, Amazon, and even when you click on that link from Amazon and you don't buy what's on my little screen, affiliate thing just you clicking on that link I get a little kickback because you came off there from my channel and if you guys would like to shop at OnlyTacticalFans.com and you spend over $50 you get this free blemish hat and the blemish is very small but I can notice it and I still don't feel right selling it so any order is over 50 you get this hat for free and I still have some other merch that will pop up around here and um, yeah I will see you guys very soon. Don't, don't, don't leave me yet, okay? Don't leave me. I'm still here. Peace, guys. Okay, hopefully this is the last time I have to try this. But anyways, if you guys would like to send uh, Matthew money, you're going to go to Google. And you can also do this on your phone as well. Um, Western, oops. Western Union. and make an account and you go to these this thing right here and pay an inmate on your phone it'll say send money to an inmate if you do it through like a mobile app you can do federal and then his name is inmate number just how much you want to send you don't have to send him that much um just if you want to, it's the option. You can send what amount you want to send here, his first name, last name, and then just make sure it's set up like this. If you want, you could add his middle name. Oh, that's gonna bug me, hold on. Um, and then, yeah, he'll get it within shortly, and you can do this, urgent, and then continue, and just type in the information you want, and send it, so yeah.